and welcome to my keto journey. I hope that you're all having a wonderful and blessed Sunday. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for tuning in today. Today is Tag Your It. So how this works is I, I've come up with 10 questions and I'm going to tag someone at the end. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to go over to my email and come up with the questions. So, number one, how did I hear about keto? I heard keto through a friend of mine. She had been doing ketogenic, a ketogenic lifestyle for a year, and I had seen her transition, and I'd seen her weight loss, and I was struggling so much with my weight that I thought, you know, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to see if it works. She had helped me get set up with everything, and it once I had seen that it was working, I was like, oh my goodness, I had tried Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers and all types of diets and programs before. This was just so easy for me. All it was is going to the store, getting the foods that I needed on the list that was approved and eating it and doing exercise and drinking water. And it has been the best decision that I've ever made. So I had I had found this out through a friend of mine. So I'm really happy that I had that friend in my life to help me with my weight loss because I was going to go gastric sleeve and I'm so glad that I didn't. That wouldn't have been a very good decision for me. Um, why did I start? Because I had gotten up to 305 pounds. I was so uncomfortable in my own body. I couldn't walk without being out of breath. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning without feeling agony and in pain. I was suffering with depression so bad, so miserable. I was an emotional eater. I was binge eating on all the wrong things. I was just putting junk and sugar and carbs in my body feeling lethargic and tired where I had to take naps throughout the day. I was just miserable. I just didn't have any confidence in myself. I just didn't have any self-esteem. My self-esteem was very poor. I was very, I just felt very poorly. So that is why I decided that I needed to start. I needed to make a change that this was going to be my last my last effort to lose weight, otherwise I was going to go down the gastric sleeve path, which I'm glad that I never did. Like I said, um, this has been the best decision that I've ever made and I have followed this lifestyle now for 14 months, so I know that this lifestyle is going to be sustainable for me and I'm really happy with just how it fits in my life. Uh, that I can afford, one, I can afford to do it. It's easy. Um, not having to go and be weighed and measured every day like I was with Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers. And that I can share this experience with with others who are struggling with their weight loss like I did through YouTube and my keto journey on Facebook. And if you haven't joined my keto journey on Facebook or you're watching from YouTube, you can you can join on the Facebook tab on my banner and it'll bring you to our little community that we have, have there. We are like a family. We've got 860 members. We're there to support, encourage and motivate one another. We have recipe ideas, tips. I have meal plans that come out every Friday free of charge and it just makes it so much easier for uh, every one of us who struggle with time. So what are the struggles that I've had doing and in, implementing keto? I really don't believe that I have had any struggles. Maybe at the beginning the struggles was getting my macros right, um, getting my fats right, my my protein. I know that the carbs was at the right amount, but just tweaking things when I would not be losing weight or not be seeing any differences in measurements or clothing. I just had to tweak things around with my macros. And, um, I mean, I really have not seen any 
any struggles with doing the ketogenic lifestyle it's just been so easy like i i, I um i really didn't have a whole lot of carbs at the start at uh carb cravings at the start it was like it just worked for me instantly so i really think if it hadn't have worked for me instantly that it would have been a struggle even with the keto flu i didn't have too bad of the keto flu at the start so i really don't see many struggles that i've had with the ketogenic lifestyle uh how has keto changed your relationship with food it's definitely changed my relationship with food because i used to be an emotional eater I was a comfort eater, a binge eater, and now I don't look at food like I've got to have it. I have no desire to eat it. I only eat when I'm hungry, and I eat things that are high in fat so that I don't stay hungry, and I just keep my mind occupied, exercise. I, Yeah, I just don't look at food now in the way that I used to. So it's really changed my whole lifestyle and my whole eating habits and uh, being an emotional eater, a comfort eater as well. It's just really changed things for me. So um, that's that's how it's changed in those areas of my life. And do, you see, do I see keto as sustainable way of life? Yes, I do. I have I have been on a ketogenic lifestyle now for 14 months and if I didn't think it was sustainable, I don't think I would have lasted uh, as long as 14 months and I'm not going to give up. This is going to be a way of eating for me for, for the rest of my life and I do have a goal to reach 136 pounds down but, you know, it's I don't have an end goal because... I know that I'm going to have to maintain the weight that I've lost. I'm going to have to maintain tracking and macros and things like that for the rest of my life. And this is just the way it's going to be. I do not want to go back to the way that I was before. Uh, I I never I never want to go back to being mor morbidly obese, having high blood pressure, cholesterol problems, depression, anxiety, uh acid reflux and heartburn, IBS, um, so many things, so many things, back problems. So, yes, I really believe that this way has been sustainable for me. Uh, would I recommend the ketogenic diet to others? Well, yes, I would recommend the ketogenic lifestyle to others. I'm here on YouTube and I'm here on Facebook helping 860 members if I didn't think that... Um, it was the best thing ever, I wouldn't be talking about it. So yes, definitely I would recommend the ketogenic lifestyle. It is great. It's, it's the best thing. It can heal so many diseases. It can, it can reverse symptoms of RA and, di and type 2 diabetes. I've seen it happen. I'm not a medical doctor or a nutritionist or a, di or a dietitian, but speak with your doctor. Some doctors can be sceptical, but speak with your doctor and see what they think. But, you know, in the end, it's your decision. It is totally your decision. Not everyone is going to do as well on a ketogenic lifestyle. Not everyone is suited to, to it because we're, we're all different. We're all different DNA and we're all different body shapes and sizes and we're all fighting diseases. And if you've watched the Mac... If you've watched The Magic Pill on Netflix, it tells you exactly what the ketogenic diet lifestyle is and it shows the tra transformations that these people have. A child with uh, autism, it had improved her talking, her speech and her learning um, capacity as well. And she's just doing so great. She's off her medicine she had to take some kind of narcotic medicine to help with her mate her brain so you know it's just wonderful just what the ketogenic lifestyle can do for others um what are my goals for 2018 my goals 
I really would like to get down to the 100 pound mark by the end of this year. And I feel that it's going to happen because I'm almost at 80. So it's only another 20 pounds away. So I feel like that is going to be a goal of mine is to definitely get down to the 100 pound mark. The goal of mine is to do some of my bucket list items that I had mentioned in my bucket list video. If you'd like to go over and look at that, uh, hiking and doing trails and just enjoying life, living my best life because now that I've dropped 79 pounds, I can do things that I never thought I could do. Um, and my ketogenic goals are that I can reach out to the community. I can help others that were in my situation before. Um, that is really my goal is just to help others that are struggling because I know that I was struggling so much with food addiction, with emotional eating, with comfort eating, and I just really love helping people. So now I'm going to tag Ketolicious Life. Um, I will list the questions in the description box on YouTube, and I'm looking forward to hearing what yours are, Amy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Kid one. Bye-bye.